Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome to A Sneakered Life. I am Piper Harris, and this is our Monday edition. So timing your travel. This has been huge. This is something that my clients have been talking to me so much about. A lot of the times when I'm working with my clients, we have our base program, and we really work to discover our beliefs, our values, and then those usually and always parlay into what are your goals. And I am telling you, over 70% of my clients, one of their goals is always, I want to travel. Whether it's within the US or it's outside of the US, it is always one of their goals. And it's, it's interesting because I am in the midst right now of preparing our travel schedule for our family. So it's crazy, we're here in um, Atlanta, Georgia. We are getting back ready for school in just just two weeks. We start August uh, 1st or 2nd. And so I'm looking at the calendar for um, fall break, for winter break, and for spring break and try to schedule forward what are we going to do with our family this year. And so what's really kind of fun about timing travel is that I think when it comes to us in our professional lives, it's we feel like we don't have the time, right? We feel like we can't make the time to travel. Maybe we don't have the finances to travel. Maybe you just think it's too hard with kids. Whatever it may be, I think a lot of times we think we just can't do it. But really, travel is, is so easy to add into your schedule. And here's the thing. Last week, I was talking about white space, creating white space. Travel allows you to relax, rewind, and refresh. So just a couple weeks ago, um, my family and I went to Washington, D.C., and this was one of those same opportunities for me. Um, I was, you know, segueing into sneakered life, creating all this new content, doing all of these things, and this opportunity to travel to D.C. with my kids came at such an opportune time because I really, really desperately needed that, that white space, that blank space, just to be mom, to discover D.C., to just really enjoy the experience altogether and just, you know, shelf work for a minute. And I'm telling you, even though my feet were weary <laughs> because we walked so much, I came home um, refreshed, revitalized, and ready to get into things. So I just kind of wanted to share some of my travel tips because I'm telling you, as a professional and, um, you know, as a mom, we need that time. We need that time to just take a breather. So I want to give you a couple of my tips that really helped me bring my family and also what I did this past weekend. So we went to D.C. a couple weeks ago, and for us, it was we piggybacked on my husband's trip. So that's one of my biggest tips for you. If you're really wanting to include travel in this busy professional life that you have, I always suggest to my clients, piggyback a, a, you know, a, a work function, a conference, or a sales call, whatever it is, piggy pack it. So what we did is we went a day before my husband's work conference and we stayed a day after. The reason why we did this is one, we did miss out on some of his time with us, but we had the hotel paid for all except two days. We stayed in DC for six days. Would you like to know how much we spent, including gas money? About $635. That's it for six days for a family of four in Washington, D.C. But we really worked hard. So again, what I tell my clients and what we really try to do as a family is we try to piggyback business trips because you can utilize the time that you're already there. You already have a paid hotel and many times, you know, your office or whatever it is is going to get a better rate. So that's how we got really inexpensive rate. The second thing we did is we did not stay in D.C. Metro. It's expensive, guys. And so for us to do this, we stayed outside of D.C. in Tyson's Corner. The key when you're going into any major metropolitan like we did is that we stayed close enough to drive to the metro. So we were about five minutes away from the metro station. It was great. It was just hop down the, the road. We went to parking, which was free for us, and we hopped on the metro. So when you're thinking about that, when you're trying to find a hotel, I would say stay out of the busy cities, look for a hotel, and this is my third tip, look for a hotel that provides a free breakfast and an evening social. 
That's how we saved money too. So we had our six days and what we did is we divided up which days we'd eat in the evening at the social, depending on what the menu was with my dietary issues, we had to be careful. And then we had the money set aside to go out and have dinner. During the day, I had the boys pack lunch. We stayed in a hotel that had you know, a, a full kitchen. It was great. So we packed our lunches, they lugged everything with them, with them and we rode the metro. Now, if you're nervous about traveling on your own, I have to tell you, I found the metro app. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is the, the all the metro lines in DC. It was fabulous because I could say, okay, I'm here at Tyson's Corner and I wanna go down to the DC Zoo. And it told me exactly what to do. So it took all the nervousness out of jumping on those railways. Now, they, there's also the, the New York Metro app and it is exactly the same thing and really helps. When I went to New York a couple years ago, this saved my bacon. So what you should do when you're traveling with your family, piggy pack. I'm telling you, I tell my clients all the time, do you want to travel? Do you want to discover? So piggyback either a day before or a day after your conference. Utilize that hotel room you already have. You're probably going to get a lesser charge, you know, lesser charge for the time that you're staying there. Find a hotel that has free breakfast and an evening social. So you're covering two of your meals. And if you can find a hotel that has a kitchenette or even a fridge, you can pack lunches during the day to save you some money as well. So the other thing is, is never stay within the, the main metro area. It's great, it's fun, but boy, is, exp is it expensive. So find a hotel that's really close to a metro line, any sort of public transportation that can get you to and from your hotel. So the other thing that I suggest, if you're going traipsing through Washington, D.C., is so great. Everything is free. I mean, everything is free. So make sure those kids have their own backpacks because you're going to be tired. Bring reusable water bottles. This helped us hugely to stay hydrated and just filled it up wherever you were. So those are just some of my tips and tricks. And I'm telling you, we had an amazing vacation for just under $635. Is that crazy or what? So I really do think, I've, I've spoken to so many of my clients that one of their goals is to travel. And I think that's because we have this natural desire to break free, right? Break free from our, our everyday lives of the work and, and the monotony or the struggle or the stress and the anxiety. And I think travel just beckons us, doesn't it? I mean, we see the influencers on Instagram and they've got these beautiful pictures of women on a beach and they're like reaching out to the photographer's hand and they're playing in the ocean or they're at these amazing marketplaces. You can still travel within the United States and find amazing experiences as well. And you can do it inexpensively. So when I'm working with my clients and they say, I just so desperately want to travel, we identify what really is pulling on you. What are you so excited to experience? So one of my clients, she is in a Mississippi and she just desperately wants to experience a coastal town. She's like, you know, I want to travel to a coastal town, but maybe someday I'd want to live in a coastal town. Well, obviously we want to try it out before we jump and move over there. And so we're in the process of creating this goal. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to figure out, you know, this is when we're going to do it. The best time for us to schedule to go to the coastal town is this time. We're going to set a budget. We're going to do all of those things to ensure that she can make it there and do it budget friendly and still just ugh, relax and revive. So that was my six day trip to Washington DC and kind of how I guide my clients into realizing their goals of travel. Here's the other great thing about travel. It doesn't have to be long-term travel. So for example, this weekend, my husband and I had 36 hours kid-free. It was fantastic. And so I really wanted to do a little bit of local travel. What can we do to experience for 36 hours? So we traipsed up into the North Georgia mountains and we just played in all these little North Georgia mountain towns. Lovely wineries. I'll just tell you, it was so much fun. All it cost us with a, it was a tank of gas and some snacks to get to and from. It was really great, and it was an inexpensive way for us to just travel around and to experience different areas that are near us. Same can go for you. Do you have hotel points? I bet you have enough on your credit card to get one night. Where can you drive to within, oh, four hours at the most, so you're not in the car the whole time? 
use your hotel points and go experience the town. You don't have to do every single event that's there, but if you're trying to experience different towns, you know, go find where are the museums, where are the historical centers, where are some really fun eateries. You can even, you know, Google before you go, you know, cheap, great places in XYZ. I did that before DC as well. I planned all our little eating places too. So it can really be a lot of fun, even just with, you know, 36 hours to two days. If you have a really short weekend, go somewhere that you can, you can drive to and experience something new. So I think it's so imperative that as we are developing ourselves and leading into, you know, our professional lives, that we have to create that white space, that blank space that I talked about last week. And I think timing our travel is imperative and just giving us Oh, a breath of fresh air and just revitalizing. I'm telling you, after Washington, D.C., although I was exhausted because we walked over 45 miles, I was just so ready to come home, to hit the ground running, and to get back to my clients. It's exactly what I needed for my heart and my mind. And I really have to say that since we've gotten home, I have just knocked it out of the park with all these projects that I wanted to get done. So it's imperative to time your travel. You don't have to go for six days. You don't have to leave the country. You can go just within your community. Maybe it's just a, a quick trip to downtown metropolitan area and a nice little hotel. Whatever it is, time your travel to give you a refresh, to revitalize. You know, maybe you're just going to do a, a one day a week off, take some sick time, do a long weekend. You can do something like that, or you can schedule a long-term trip. So talking about long-term trips or, or any trips in general, timing your travel for you to revitalize yourself personally and professionally, I wish <laughs> I had gotten this ultimate bundle before I went to D.C. I literally thought I knocked it out of the park, how to travel with my kids, how to be frugal, all of those things. And I think we nailed it pretty good. But this ultimate bundle, I love it because it's allowing me to now plan ahead for our fall break. And I cannot wait to use everything that's in this. This ultimate bundle has tons of stuff in it. It has 30 products and it's only $47. That sounds crazy, doesn't it? But listen, you're going to get all kinds of eBooks. Um, you're going to get e-courses, which is really helpful. So it's like budgeting, um, frugal flying, that sort of thing, how to travel with kids, um, you know, women. How can you travel women without feeling uneasy? I have a friend, and I'm telling you, she takes a big trip by herself every year, and I love living vicariously through her. And I'm telling you, she could write this book, helping you understand that you can navigate the road as a single woman and have a great time and be safe. So if you're interested in this bundle, I dropped the link below. I'm excited because I am, like I said, planning forward for our school year, for all the different vacations that we have coming up. I really do believe that timing your travel is something that you can utilize to just really make you kind of explode forward in your growth. Whether you're trying to you know, make things just chug along better at home or whether you're trying to achieve, you know, a higher status at work. We all need that blank space. We all need that time to just take a breath, walk away, experience something new. It's like providing us a new canvas for something for us to start creating artwork on. And it's a perfect backdrop. So timing your travel is absolutely, I believe, imperative to you living a successful life, how you define it. Like I talk about a sneakered life, a life that you create, which, you know, excites and empowers and drives and it motivates you. That's what you need is your own sneakered life. And I believe timing travel is one of those key components in building that life of walking in your own confidence, feeling refreshed and relaxed and being able to take on everything ahead of you. So thanks so much for joining me today. A few of my tips for my DC trip, I'm telling you, $634, $35 for a family under four. Crazy. And I really thought I had all these tips down until I got this bundle. It's crazy that I just, I was like, oh my gosh, I thought I had it all figured out. So if you're looking forward for this next year or you still have some extra time this summer and you really need help, you know, timing that travel and how do I do this effectively and frugally, I'm telling you, this is going to make an enormous difference 
for you. So I'm Piper Harris. Thank you for joining me today for A Sneakered Life. It's all about timing that travel and giving you rest and revitalization. So thanks so much for joining me today, and I will be talking to you all very soon.